Welcome to the Electrician's Tool Channel. I want to welcome you guys to Fight Night. And the fight is between, well, should I say, uh, Fight Night. And in this corner, we have the Knipex 9-inch Limons. In this corner, we have Weha, uh, I think it's like a 9.5-inch Lyman pliers. Both of them are non-insulated pliers. Both of them are, brand, are, are new, brand new. Uh, they are very similar because none of them uh, they don't uh, don't have the crimper uh, you know, any kind of special things to them uh, except uh, a few little details but uh, I'm gonna compare the two and I'm we're gonna just pick a winner uh, uh, I'm a first of all I want to I, I want to come in with a weigh-in uh, let's do the Kinepex first I'm gonna weigh in, let's do a weigh-in and see Kinepex coming in at one pound, five ounces. Weha coming in at one pound, two ounces and three quarters. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me just get into my likes and dislikes. First of all, what I like about the Weha is I like the idea that out of the pack, they're ready to be used. You don't need a can of oil sitting on the side to try to uh, loosen them up like some uh, lime and pliers on the market today. You don't have to uh, spend all night having them soaking uh, for a whole day into some lubricant so you can just to use them. I like the fact that you could just take them out of the pack like these and they're ready to go, ready to go. Okay, I like the idea that uh, I like this. The teeth, it really feels nice and aggressive in the front. This blade, mm, it really feels sharp. And I like this this teeth that it has right here in the back. Grip in case you're trying to pull uh, something uh, or lift something, a nail out or whatever. I like those teeth back there. I like the way the handle feels, but it's, it's, it's not my favorite. Because I think in time that over over time this this will get harder. It feels kind of harder to me, and it feels kind of slippery. You know, it feels slippery, and I'm just thinking that over time it'll become harder than what it feels right now. Um, now, one of my viewers told me that in time this is supposed to get softer. I don't think so. I'm just uh, and it's just my opinion. I think over time it'll get harder as it get older. Now, what I like about this. Uh, everything else I like about this plier. If I had to get on a scale from one to ten, I would get I would rate it. Uh, since this is the only thing I would really be disliking about it right now, I would give it a nine point. Shit. And let's go to nine point five. Now the Weha. What I like about this plier, first of all, let's do like the Knipex. It opens up, but it's almost like it just like it says strains. It, don't, it doesn't open up. You have to. This is one of the pliers that you may have to uh, add some lubricant to uh, to kind of loosen it up. That's that's. I don't like that. I don't like that. What I, and second, what I don't like about it. Uh, well, no, another thing what I like about this is I like the teeth right here. That's pretty good. I like this little up here. But I very seldom use Lyman's to ream up my plier. I mean, ream, ream up my conduit. Uh, I have a reamer or I'll use some needle nose or something like that, but I very seldom use alignments. I would if that's all I had, but, you know, just to have it up there, just in case, is really nice. The the blade right here, it's, it's, you know, it's sharp, but it's not as sharp. It doesn't feel as sharp as the Knipex. Uh, the handle itself, they really feel comfortable. I like that. I, I like the way they feel. What I don't like is the length of this head right here on it. It's 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 too long. It make when you hold it in your hand, it makes it feel top heavy. And when you're cutting wire, you know, you'll be able to like strip wire if you had to use these plier, you were strip stripping wire. It's kinda it's you know, it's um it's manageable, but it's it's not comfortably, I guess as a word, comfortably manageable. Uh but you know you can do it. This, on the other hand, this feel is it, it doesn't feel as heavy as these pliers here, uh, but 
they feel manageable. Plus the blade feels sharp and it really feels good. It really feel it, it really feel nice and comfortable. Um, but if these if if these grips were on these pliers, this would be a whole on a scale from one to ten. Out of out of the two, I'd give this like a twelve. Yeah, I really would. Now, both of them are quality made tools. You can see that, you know. It's just the design of these pliers here. And I like Weha tools, but this is an unbiased um, comparison here. I, I, I like Weha tools. In fact, I've been changing my tool bag around to a lot of Weha insulated tools uh, lately. But these Lyman pliers here, just um, the design of these pliers is just, you know, it's not right. It just have too much. I think if they were to cut them off about, if they were, uh, should have cut them off about right here, um, you would have had, and put the handle up to about right here, you know, you would have had a nice pair of pliers. You would have had a good pair of pliers. And uh, the only takeaway I, I have about these pliers, like I just mentioned, you can't open them up, especially if you do like this and you close them, they're going to get stuck. You see? I don't like that. These, you could do that to it and they're still ready to go. But back here, they don't have that, that the teeth, the gripping teeth back here. They just have it up here. So, I, you know, I guess I'm not going to say that's one up because the Knipex don't have this little grip of being uh, serrated teeth up here. So, okay, so one of them have one them that they don't have. So, but it, that's even. But overall, if I had to pick one plier uh, as my favorite out of the two right now, uh, and which one I would think would be the best and the best design. Uh, even though the handles uh, is not my favorite handle, I'll have to go to Knipex. This would be my first choice uh, of plier. I'm going to cut something like just to show you what we got. Both pliers are new. In fact, they're brand new. And um, I'm just cutting. Both, I know both of them are going to cut, but we'll just see about which one will make a clean cut. That's a nice cut, but see how it's matched. The, I don't know if you can see how it bent the wire. It's probably because the teeth, I mean, the, the blade is not as sharp to cut through. Now, now you see how, how, how it's kind of oval-like because that's how it crushed, I mean, how it, uh, it'll give it a clean cut. Now, let's do the Knipex. Well, they did it too, but but not as bad as the, as the Weha. And it gave it a clean cut, I will say. You know, it, it, it did cut better. I can tell you that much. It did cut better. It did cut better. Uh, I knew both plier was going to cut, but um, this one seemed to have make it, uh, like a butter just cut straight through. The, like I mentioned before, these are a little bit duller than these. Uh, overall, out of the two pliers, I, I just mentioned again, just my first choice, and um, so, so that's who I would pick. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I'm sorry I didn't have a, um, a long video. I don't um, make long videos. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have more tests um, to perform with these pliers. Uh, I try to make my videos as short as possible and get straight to the point uh, when I make a video. But I want to thank y'all for stopping by once again. Leave uh, Hit that subscribe button if you didn't hit it already. Um, leave a comment. Let's talk to you. If there's a question you want to ask me about either or. Uh, drop me a line. I'll answer you. Uh, answer your uh, your question or leave a reply. Uh, share this video, and in the meantime, you guys stay safe and peace out.